Headingley was the stage, but Mitchell Stark stole the show. In one devastating moment, he shattered England's hopes with a brutal in swinging Yorker that will be talked about for years. Australia's 68 run win was more than just another victory. It was a statement. Can England recover, or is the series already slipping through their fingers? Stay with us as we break down every twist and turn of this epic showdown. In a thrilling clash at Headingley, Australia surged to a 2 0 series lead against England. Thanks to an unforgettable display from Mitchell Stark and a crucial innings by Alex Carey. Despite England's fight, they fell 68 runs short, leaving Australia on the brink of a series win. Let's dive into how this incredible match unfolded. Australia's batting innings was a mix of ups and downs. Starting cautiously, they were at 145 for three when Adil Rashid, celebrating his 200th ODI wicket, sparked a mini-collapse. Manus Labouchain and Mitchell Marsh steadied the ship, but England fought back hard, leaving Australia nine down in the 37th over. It seemed like Australia was heading for an early finish, but then Alex Carey stepped in. Filling in for Josh Inglis, Carey played an intelligent 74-run knock, partnering with Josh Hazelwood for a last wicket stand of 49. This partnership helped Australia post 270 on the board, giving them a real chance in the game. England's response got off to the worst possible start. Mitchell Stark, returning from illness, was on fire. He set up Harry Brook with a series of probing deliveries before unleashing a searing and swinging Yorker that crashed into Brook's pads, leaving the England captain stunned. Stark wasn't done. He dismissed Will Jacks, and soon Aaron Hardy joined the party, removing Ben Duckett and Liam Livingstone in back-to-back -back deliveries, leaving England reeling at 65 for five. With England in deep trouble, Jamie Smith and Jacob Bethel tried to pull things back. They put together a 55-run partnership, showing resilience against Australia's fierce bowling attack. But just when hope was returning for the home side, Glenn Maxwell struck, removing Bethel with a mistimed shot to backward point. Smith followed soon after for a solid 49, chipping Josh Hazelwood to mid-wicket. England's lower order tried to fight on, but with the top order gone, their chances looked slim. Australia's bowling was relentless. Josh Hazelwood's precision troubled the English openers, while Stark's pace and accuracy ripped through the middle order. Hazelwood and Stark combined to take five crucial wickets, with Stark finishing with three for 50, Aaron Hardy's two-in-two -two spell, including a spectacular court and bowl to dismiss Duckett, proved to be another decisive moment in the game. England never recovered from those early blows, and Australia's bowlers ensured there was no miracle comeback. Though Australia's total may not have seemed massive, Alex Carey's 74 was the difference maker. His cool head in the final partnership with Hazelwood gave Australia the momentum they needed, and that was reflected in how their bowlers approached the defence of 270, England's lower order showed fight. But with wickets tumbling regularly, Australia's bowlers wrapped things up quickly, securing a commanding 68-run victory. This win puts Australia 2-0 up in the series and leaves England with a lot of questions to answer. Can they find their form and bounce back? Or will Australia continue to dominate and seal the series in the next game? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. This ODI series has delivered drama from the start. If you enjoyed the recap, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for more match updates, highlights and analysis. See you in the next one.